What's going on guys? Welcome to Rocker Films. Uh, if you guys don't know who I am, my name is Matt. I'm the owner and the person that does all the cinematic videos for car shows and other stuffs. Um, today we're going to be talking about things I wish beginning cinematographers or filmmakers, whatever you want to call yourselves that are on YouTube, would stop doing. Alright, let's get into it. This means the emptiness had afforded Just like a void, but you Stop calling them cinematics. That is not a word. At least I don't think it is. But if it is, it's very cringy. Stop doing it. You can call it a cinematic feature. You can call it uh, anything else. <laughs> Just stop calling it cinematics. I hate that word. And it's not, I don't think it's a real word. I really don't think it's a real word. Look up the word cinematography before you even try to pick up the camera. Look it up, know what it means, know what it is, and know that your job is to be a Sylvia. My cat's over there. Hey. Hi. Stop being a weirdo. Cinematography is a whole job in itself. You are not just a filmmaker, but you're a storyteller with the camera. You're not a director, you're not a producer. I mean, you can be those things too. But a cinematographer is more than just filming B roll with a stabilizer or in slow motion or whatever you want to do. It's telling a story, a good story, with the camera. No words, no, you can use music or whatever, but it's more than, more than just the slow motions that you guys do and all that crap. Look at your little tail, <laughs> a little nub. I guess you need to the other thing. You do not need a stabilizer to get your cinematic shot. That being said, you can use a tripod, you can do handheld. Different shooting styles go for different storytelling techniques. So if your story is like an action-based story and you're in an action sequence, go handheld. It adds a dramatic effect to it like this. I'm not in an action sequence right now, but doing a handheld and having a little shakiness to the video is actually a technique they use on movies. And that's what you want. You want your shot to be look. You want your project to look like a movie. Learn different shot shooting techniques. Tripod. You can use a stabilizer. You don't need one. You can use one. Or any. Just look up different shooting techniques you can use, other than a stabilizer. You do not need a stabilizer to have that cinematic look. I used to quote it because that's what everybody wants. It's a cinematic look. With hi Sylvia. Hi. Hi. All right. Next thing is. You don't always need the best camera. Your camera, the one you're shooting with, can be perfect. I'm using an A6 or an A5000 right now. What you can do with these are changing your lenses. Your lenses is more of a storytelling feature, I guess you can say, than the camera is. I have my tripod here so I can just let the camera sit. But um, pretty much what I'm trying to say. There's a lot that goes into cinematography other than just your basic slow motion shots, your stabilized shots. There's a lot that goes into it. And if you guys actually, let me take that back, that sounds really mean. If you guys um, watch movies, you notice that a majority, like 90% of the shots in a movie are static. Meaning the shots are not moving, the characters are moving, but the shots, the people, like or the camera's not moving around that much, if at all. So, you don't need a stabilizer or act, like not action, you don't really need movements, camera movement, to have a cinematic shot, if that makes sense. Another thing is, cinematography is involving not just camera work, but lighting. And that's another thing that people do not really pay attention to, which I think they should. Um, you have to learn different lighting setups, different lighting positions, different lights. You do, a cinematographer controls a whole department of everything that happens behind the camera and in front of the camera, other than the actors moving around. Look at my cat. Get down, Sylvia. Leave the birds alone. <laughs> no. No. Thank you. I'm gonna try to start doing, like, daily videos or at least weekly videos showing you guys more 
about cinematography. I did go to school for it. I had to graduate and do different projects in order to graduate from uh, school. So I'm gonna try to teach you guys more about different angles, composing your shots so you won't, you won't be looking at weird, <laughs> looking at the screen kind of weird and not looking at what you're supposed to be looking at, if that makes sense. Using color and using music and different things that add to your story and filmmaking because it kind of annoys me that people are getting viral videos and they're not really doing what they're supposed to be doing. I mean, I guess they're doing something right if they're going viral, but it doesn't make sense to me because they're breaking the rules, but not in the good way and in the bad way. But it's making everybody else look bad, but I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. Cinematography, you are the DP, which means director of photography, meaning you're in charge of a whole department of cameras, lights, sound, all this other stuff that goes on in movies. In movies. So, if you want to call yourself a cinematographer, I really recommend that you either, one, watch movies and study them, two, pick up a camera and actually shoot stuff, but don't wait until you get something that you think you need when it's not really necessary. It's more something you want, you know, it's not, it's not something you need. So, pick up your camera, Compose your shots. I'll tell, I'll tell more. You got that. I'll tell you guys more about that later on in a different video. But for like a quick heads up or not quick little tip, you lose the um, your rule of thirds with your grid. Meaning, line your shots up either on the right side like this, or like I said, the left side. I'm not really sure. But use the little bars and place your subject on the line. It's okay to have them in the middle sometimes, but it get kind of boring. So have them on the line. See all this is empty space right here, but you're still looking on the right side or the left side of your screen, and it looks better like that. So, just a little heads up. Compose your shots. Don't rely on a stabilizer, and stop calling it cinematics. I hate that word. And if you're gonna call it cinematics, I'm subscribed. Give me a thumbs down. I don't care. I don't like you. Bye. Just kidding. Please don't unsubscribe. Please subscribe and uh, love me and Sylvia, please. One subscribe gives her a treat. Another thumbs up gives her belly rubs. She loves belly rubs. So that being said, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to learn more about. Um, if you see somebody calling it cinematics, tell them to come watch this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to try to post at least weekly. and. Stuff like that. Stop, I'm gonna stop random rambling now. <sighs> it's coffee.